The chorus is about the conditions in the world for Hitler to be able to build an army big enough to rise against many of the powers in Europe and then eventually world powers um, and start World War II and then also the conditions of isolationism that, that were taking place in the United States at this time and what had to happen for us to kind of break down those isolationist ideals in order to enter World War II. So the first part, who will be the greatest generation if he builds an army? Under the cover of depression, it ignores Versailles. So this, I, this, this concept of the greatest generation or this term was given to the individuals who grew up through the depression and then went off to fight in World War II, that they were the greatest generation. They went and saved the world, which is absolutely true. Um, but it's an interesting contrast because Hitler was convinced that they, the Germans uh, were a superior race of humans. So this whole idea of the greatest generation, the greatest people, um, would have been interesting if Hitler had won World War II. Uh, what, what would happen with that, the, the concept of the greatest generation? It might have been a little bit different. So uh, he built an army. The, the, the conditions of the world at that time, the world was in, we were in a worldwide depression before World War II. So uh, a, a lot of people weren't paying attention to what was happening in the armament of other countries. They were trying to figure out how to feed their own people and get themselves out of the depression. So in this environment, Hitler was able to build this army and ignored the, uh, the, the agreements in, involved in Versailles, which, was, which were uh, determined after World War I, and that's a lot more information, but that's just a general overview. So here's how we're going to demonstrate that. So who will be the greatest generation if he builds an army under the cover of depression and ignores Versailles? All right, the next part, appeasement leads us to diplomacy, not action, while we are isolationist, but can't deny our time to arrive. So our policy of appeasement and isolationism allowed, once World War II started, we didn't join because that was a European problem. Uh, we didn't want to get involved in European matters. Uh, we were still trying to get out of the depression. Um, we started selling arm, um, arms to our allies. Uh, but we didn't want to do, get directly involved in the war. So that isolationist attitude and appeasement for the war uh, only lasted so long until we got attacked and then we entered the war after Pearl Harbor. So here's how we're going to demonstrate that. So appeasement leads to diplomacy. So we're just, you know, like, you shouldn't do that. We're trying to use words to solve the problem, not get involved in the war, uh, but not action while we are isolationist. So we have an arm's distance, we're, we're isolated from Europe, we don't want to be part of Europe's problems, uh, but can't deny our time to arrive. All right, so it's just a matter of time. It becomes a world war. We need to go in and help our allies uh, because Germany was a, a serious threat to world peace. All right, let's put all this together. So who will be the greatest generation if he builds an army under the cover of depression and ignores Versailles? Appeasement leads us to diplomacy, not action, while we are isolationist, but we can't deny our time to arrive. Let's try it with the music. Through Belgium, through France, I knock the allies out. Who will be the greatest generation if he builds an army under the cover of depression and ignores Versailles? Appeasement leads us to diplomacy, not action, while we are isolationists but can't deny our time to arrive. Try it again. Belgium through France might knock the Allies out. Who will be the greatest generation if he builds an army under the cover of depression and ignores Versailles? Appeasement leads us to diplomacy, not action. While we are isolationists, but can't deny our time to arrive. Imperial Japan. Good. So that is the chorus.